Hi everyone, this is James from Vega TV. I have my Sukumi deck with me today again. Um, there was a recent post by Cardfight Pro um, on a Japanese deck profile. The for Sukumi deck, they had won first place in a tournament there. So the deck was really special with uh, really few cards I really don't understand. So I didn't understand, so I had to go and try it myself. I I I took in the the their strategies. Actually, no, they didn't put up any strategies on that thing. So it was just a deck list. So it was hard for me to find out things. So also people are trying to net deck it, but they they, they might not understand how the deck works. So uh, I've tried it myself. The deck list. I I really don't know how how the Japanese guy did it. So I have my own way of playing this deck now. Uh, I won't be going through the deck in detail. I'll just be going through what I've changed in the deck. And some questions that I've gotten on, on my on Facebook groups and uh, maybe friends. Yeah. So it's secure me deck profile version two. Okay. So first I start off with it's a right chain deck. You need so you need your HB Godhawk. Next for Susano break strike, getting you closer to your stack as fast as possible. And three full moon for you with right chain deck. You have to run this. This is something new. I run the 12k GB1 12k attackers. Then four half moon is a right chain deck. You need run four. Next is four silent tom. So I finally got my. I finally got the all the all my silent be old. I used to have one as the new art. I didn't like it that, that way. So I went to, I try, went around hard to find it. So I, it was hard to find. So I had to go around and get it. Get the last one in. So very happy about that. Also, this is a bit new. I only I only run two of the strike cards now. Two luck birds. There's something new also brought over from the Japanese guys deck. For perfect guards, so the, I'm flipping up. Used to call them what PGGs now. Perfect guard generation or I don't, I really don't know PGGs. Uh, okay. Then we have four Gemini. You can really run the the any other the the other AK vanilla from GB one, but doesn't matter. I, just, I like the art. Next is right chain deck, so four crescent moon and triggers I haven't changed. Four heal and twelve crit. Okay, so now I'll go on to explaining the deck. So the changes for me were Luckbirds and these two. These are new additions to the deck in place of a few a few cards. So Blackbird is the typical on call so blast two and draw draw one for Oracle Think Tank and this is GB one gains three K when attacking the Vanguard. So uh what I took out for this, the space I took out with this were three of these, three of this, and also uh one of the strike costs. The strike cost plus two one. So I used to have three of these and one more, so it'd be the four cards that I took out. So uh, a bit of uh, like after playing it for another week or so, I realized that this is not really worth as a to be used for its counter blast. Like you have cards like Susano and Take Mikazuchi to mm, get you closer to your stack quick, more quickly, because for those cards per counter blast, you're going two cards deeper. But for this, you're only going one card deeper and. I don't like how you need to have a booster. Like there are, now there's a lot of that are coming out there where they get rid of whole columns with very cheap cost. So having this puts you at risk of being having a column burnt and not being able to push for a game that turn. So I, I, I don't like this a lot uh, after a few, a few more days of playtesting. So uh, also I got the idea for, for replacing this with Luckbird with the post. I will have the link for the previous deck profile where I explained the old deck and what all the cards do and why they are there and also the link to the blog so in the, the, the blog he ran, he ran 4 luckbirds I don't get why he ran 4 luckbirds considering that this is a right chain deck uh, for Tsukiyomi, uh, for like full moon Tsukiyomi to be like 11k you need to have the other grades in soul so if you have 4 luckbirds you have you are, you are, you may be drawing dead cards since you cannot so blast if not you will have a weak vanguard and you can't guard, and you, that you can't guard from your opponent's attacks so he went i don't and there's no way you can so charge in this deck other than for the great to secure me so i really don't understand 
how I built the deck. So I had to go with uh, my own play style running two. So with the right chain, you so charge two when you write the uh, you write half moon. So then uh, with this, this allows you to use those two soul as a resource uh, to, to 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 mill single cards of deck. Mill like single yeah single cards of the deck. So it replaces the job of this. Normally I run this because I in case I have one card left in my stack, then I'll use this. But now with this in place, I think it's a lot better. So I don't, I don't have to waste one attacking column for 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 just to reach my stack properly. And also it's five k, so five k behind a sixteen k Susano, it's not it's still twenty one two crit, it's not bad. Uh, behind a uh, what's that? Uh, behind a star unit, thirty the twenty twenty six plus five is thirty one, which is still good. So really, I just call behind this behind the Vanga, and it's 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 been doing its work very well. Next, I go on to the 12 GB1 12k attacker. So, uh, for both these two, have the uh, what's that condition of generation break one. So having to wait that long for for this for just for this to go off is really really not worth. Since I already have this to do its job without any any restriction early game. So this would be my better option for this since it, now as I explained, you don't want to call a column. So this on its own, if you just draw into it, you want to push for like, you know, force a 5k guy out of the opponent's hand uh, before the turn you go in for your silent tom all-in attack. You call this, just call a column, no, not much risk, but is the 5k guy still there, so great too. You do have to call a great one for it to be useful. So swings for 12k onto a vanguard, which is, I think it's perfect for the deck since this deck doesn't have any push. I swear it has like zero pressure throughout the game, whole game until you reach your stack, which is pretty long. So, yeah. So two of this as uh, I tigers in place of the three of this, three of the umbrella girl. So also, uh, I I dropped this down to two since I was that uh, when I was playing, I realized that because because you have such a big uh, arsenal of cards to choose from, especially with Susano and Takemi Kazuchi, you are not drawing, you are checking the top four. So you dig very deep and you can two balls your hand very very well. So instead of having to run three and, and having two in your hand or two great one great three and one this in your hand all the time, I'll run two so I, I will only have the sufficient amount I need. So I I can have the other space, the space for other more important cards or more useful cards that can get me uh better pluses for the deck. So three or two three I drop I drop the three of this to down to two. So you have the seven great three to two it's nine cards, you have one in your vanguard, so that's uh Eight left, the eight eight in the deck of around uh, I would say thirty since you have you have checked the you have, you have taken damage and drawn enough, so I think around thirty cards. So your chances are about every four cards you get one if it's if only shuffle and this is just by, by percentage. So uh, unless if you be that unlucky to have your Sukiomi stack be full of great trees, or that that's just horrible. But normally, if you shuffle your deck after a big game, it's fine. Also, people will be saying that uh, with now now that I I've added in two more great uh, I've added in one more great one or two more great ones, uh, I have a, a lot of great ones. So I to just just to show I have sixteen great ones in the deck in the deck now, which include the four secure me, four Gemini, and four Perfect. So there's sixteen cards in my in my deck, and for great twos as you see I only run ten now, which is uh, the four Silent Tom. Oops, for Silent Tom and for Half Moon Security. So people are worried that this is a bad great ratio because normally they'll follow uh, having a uh, balanced amount, uh, not as many great ones and a bit more great tools. So, but uh, what I want to tell this tell y'all is this is a right chain deck of Secure Me. So being able to write other cards, I don't like it because that makes your great tree Secure Me absolutely dead. So it's, it's the this thing about it. As long as you have four and four of each of each grid, your chances of riding it are exactly the same. So even even if you have more grid ones, even a, a lot more grid ones actually, your, your chance of riding this from the deck is still the same, since you still have the same number of cards left to check in your deck. So this allows me to have more tech for taking these two cards. They help me a lot for uh uh how how do I put it uh. Exact thinning, so this is perfect. Don't don't worry about having too many great ones, and 
if you worry about not being able to attack early game all of these are for you to early game rush that opponent after you write one of them the only thing that you need to keep for your attackers are your silent toms don't worry about it you, you will draw into them your whole deck is your, is your toolbox that's why that's what I would like to say for Oracle Think Tank especially this deck and uh, that should be more or less about it for the deck uh, I didn't change anything much how about Stripe okay so Stripe it'd be still, still two, two of the Chilling for Take Mikazuchi and two of the pregnant babies. So once GBO2 comes out and it comes out with one blizzard, I would like to change one of one of this for a blizzard. So uh, I'll take this as blizzard. So what what you do is normally you just finish up all your four of this. Your first turn you do first turn you strike over this. Next two turns you be Take Take. Then if they then uh this will be your next. After this, you finish, get reach your stack. You try to use this to push him for as much damage as possible. And if they still survive that, I will go into your Blizzard. So Blizzard to flip one. So it's perfect. You have you have one more killing left to flip flip over. So as to for for her cost. So you would go for uh, seven times five to so thirty five. Thirty five plus twenty six. So that'd be a sixty one k Vanguard. So perfect for this deck, especially so since. You have no push, very very little push aside from Silent Tom. So the Blizzard will be good addition to the deck. So that's the end of the end of this this explanation video for my Sukumi version two. The links for all the mentions for all all the blogs and everything I mentioned will be in the description. Do read it. If you still have questions on the deck, eh, just leave it in the comments. I will try our best to reply to them. Uh, thank you for watching, and. Stay tuned.